Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Roxy for those of you who are new. In this video, I'm gonna be styling my hair using two bundles from Curls Queen. And as you guys can see by the title, I'm doing a quick weave today. And I'm using two 12 inch light yaki bundles from Curls Queen. This style came out so cute. Not only cute, it's looking classy, sophisticated. I'm feeling like, you know, like grown woman vibes, soft, nice, almost giving me like news anchor vibes, just polished and ready to go. Like I mentioned, this is a light yaki, so the hair is very textured. Not super textured, but textured enough to be realistic for my hair type. It holds the curl very well. I gave it like a nice curl using my T3 curling iron. The quality of the hair is giving luxurious. I'm almost wishing that I had sewn it in so that I can reuse the hair after. Hey. So let's get into this style. My hair is freshly washed. Um, I need to prep my hair for this quick weave. Um, I just have some leave-in conditioner in it, so I'm just gonna blow dry my hair. And I do need to braid it um, back so that I can put the glue protector on it. Okay, so I'm contemplating whether I wanna do a middle part or a side part. But as you guys can see, the bundles here, they are nice and full. Like I'm almost thinking I can use one bundle, guys. Check out how full this is. And this is their light yaki texture. So it's perfect for um, silk presses or if you have natural hair and you're just, and you need to um, kind of blend it into a weave that's not so silky straight. This is the texture that you probably need. So it's looking like, um, like a bit of a relaxer slash like a blowout if you had natural hair. I think I'm gonna do a side part guys because I really want it to look nice and natural and soft. I keep saying soft, but there's something sexy about a side part. And I wanna take out my leave out first and foremost, of course. So I'm just gonna braid this part down to keep it out the way. All right, so that's the middle. Need to leave some other sides out as well, of course. So I'm gonna braid everything down just as big as I can without it looking too lumpy, of course. All right, so I have about seven large braids. To protect my hair, I'm gonna be using the Roberts Diamond Bond Protective Shield. You guys probably seen this all over social media. You can find this at your beauty supply store. But yeah, so I'm gonna put the black cap on first and then put the protective shield over. The only thing is I have to make sure I don't put any of the protective shield on my leave out.
I'm just gonna cut the excess cap off. All right, so I'm gonna start gluing in. I'm just gonna measure. I usually do my nape, but I'm just gonna go from ear to ear. Simply because, like, it doesn't really make a difference as long as you get the hair in. And I really wanna be conscious about, like, how much hair I'm putting in, because I don't want it to look too bulky, um, because it is a yaki texture. It's a light yaki, but it still has a lot of body to it. So I don't want it to look too heavy, so I do need to be conscious about how close I'm putting the tracks, which is going to affect how full and thick the hair is. So after I cut the track, I'm just gonna glue, put glue on the weft. This is like so second nature to me. This is like the foundation of doing hair, the basics. I've been doing this since I was like, I don't know, a kid. So this is like nothing to me. So if, if you're a beginner, if you're new, if you haven't done a quick weave, you're honestly just putting glue on the weft and then you're just going to place it on the cap, carry it around. And I know I can't see the back, but you kind of just have to feel for where you're going. And it's not gonna be perfect, but you just gotta do the best you can. And just use your fingers and feel, make sure that you're not doing it too far apart or too close. And I wanna make sure that I'm putting it right at the beginning of the, of the um, cap, but only on the cap, not on my scalp. All right, so I'm getting into the second bundle here and I have this much left. All right, let's see how well this baby curls. My worst fear is dropping this on my shoulder, but we should be good. If you're not good at curling here, you should definitely grab a T3. It just makes the process so much easier. It um, pulls the hair really smooth. Ooh, and this hair is curling, guys. All right, ooh, it's hot. So I barely held this in the iron, and it's curling really well.
Okay, so these are my curls, obviously not co combed out. My Oliva is still needing to be blended, but just look how bouncy and juicy these look. Um, and this, I don't know, it's giving luxe. I really love it. Um, I also love that the hair um, is thick from root to tip, so it's like, it's giving thick. You know when you buy pack hair from the hair store, usually it'll get a little bit frayed at the end, so it'll look a little bit thinner. So you have probably have to go in and like trim the ends so that, it, um, like just trim off the thinner part so it looks like healthy from root to tip. This already comes thick like that, which is what I think is helping with like the bounce. But guys, uh, <laughs> I'm not even done yet and I'm already feeling like, you know, we're like 85% there. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the leave in. I'm gonna just press it out with my flat iron and a wax stick. And yeah, I'm gonna, and then you guys will see the finish look. This style came out so cute. Not only cute, it's looking classy, sophisticated. I'm feeling like, you know, like grown woman vibes, soft, nice, almost giving me like news anchor vibes, just polished and ready to go. Like I mentioned, this is a light yaki, so the hair is very textured. Not super textured, but textured enough to be realistic for my hair type. It holds the curl very well. I gave it like a nice curl using my T3 curling iron. The quality of the hair is giving luxurious. I'm almost wishing that I had sewn it in so that I can reuse the hair after. Thank you so much Curls Queen for sponsoring this video. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.